the session this morning will be dealing with investing in social infrastructure in Europe. What role can PPPs play? Why are we doing invest to you? Because the level of investment in the in the EU as like percentage of GDP is not yet to what it was before the crisis. You can see there are a number of instruments which cover different policy areas, which will all be merged into InvestEU, which will be a common budgetary guarantee. For the employment, of course, the main policy priority is the European pillar of social rights. The pillar, as you know, very much talks about people's rights to these services. And we need now to make sure that we deliver these services in a most uh, effective and cost-efficient way and the way to do it is of course through social innovation. We tend to forget that many of the welfare services actually were initiated by citizens doing things together. They are very flexible and innovative and they are very fluid because they're only looking at the best way to solve that, or fill that gap or meet that need. They're not in the market. Many financial instruments today are not designed to capture what these social enterprises actually deliver, which is social impact or reduce social cost. We have to start measuring social and economic progress in parallel. The interesting component of the uh, Hemisphere Fund is that the remuneration for the institutional investors is um, part fixed, it's a rent, but it, there is also a viable part of the remuneration which is tied to social objectives. The interest with these uh, schemes is that we were able to attract insurance companies were not very much into such risky venture as social impact bonds can be. The most uh, positive is, uh, I think, the, the input of the creativity and the effectiveness of the uh, private sector. Also, the whole life cycle approach uh, from the start of the design until the end of the contract. The operation and maintenance uh, contract components can be tailored to the, to the sector's needs and uh, so that the social professionals can focus on their social tasks. And with Invest EU program, will be there a simplification of the processes? And will be there a simplification of the policies as well? <laughs> Is there like a list of eligible assets in each of the windows? like precisely, but what can finance with this window? What is uh, the structure then within these windows? You know, what is uh, particular to take into account the needs uh, for social investment as it is still about market-driven investment? The social window will encompass educational, hospitals uh, and uh, uh, social housing, uh, uh, all this type of infrastructure which has a social need on the top of uh, financing to social enterprises, microfinancing and social outcome contracting which is, if you want, is more services oriented rather than brick and mortar type of project. We really can do more with uh, working directly with the Commission and not through the EIB which is the case with the, with the Juncker plan uh, as for today. And thank you uh, to all of you for for having been uh, on the panel today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.